Problem 15. There are 10 people standing equally spaced around the circle, and each person knows three other people. The two people sitting next to them, and the one person directly across from them. We are trying to find the total ways for there to split the 10 people into pairs, groups of two, and so that each pair, every person knows each other. So first, let's draw out the scenario. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and so that's eight, nine, and ten. So we have ten people, right? And to do this, we have to find an orderly way to structure out casework of finding pairs. Now, the pairs can only be next or diagonal. So let's sort it by diagonal. In case one, we have zero diagonals, right? If I have zero diagonals, then there's two ways, right? That means zero diagonals becomes the case of n, where we only have the people next to each other and none in the diagonals. So if they're next to each other, then they can either choose the one on the left or the one on the right. And that will give us two possible cases. So this gives two. What about case two? Case two is where we have one diagonal. If I have one diagonal, let's say it's this diagonal, then the other groups are predetermined because they can only be this and this and this and this. Because remember, they only know the person right next to each other. And in this case, there's only one diagonal. So the rest has to be right next to each other. And so there's only um, five pick one. And why is it five pick one? Because we have a total of five diagonals. It doesn't matter which of these diagonals we choose. As long as we choose one of them, the other groups will be predetermined. So this would be the possible case. So that's equal to five. Now, what about case three? Case three, I have two diagonals. Two diagonals, well, two diagonals, we have three on each end. And that's impossible to pair up because they're odd. So this gives zero. What about case four? In case four, we have three diagonals. And three diagonals, let's say it's these three, well, the rest are predetermined. So it's five pick three. But notice, five pick three is equal to 10. And what does that 10 represent? Well, that 10 represents the possibility of choosing these three people to form the diagonals and the possibility of choosing these three people of forming the diagonals. Notice that regardless of which three people on either side we choose, we still get the same orientation of diagonals. And so the 10 includes a duplicate case, which is in this instance, these three people and these three people across from each other. And so we have to divide by two because for every correct pair, there is a symmetry that's reflected right across right here. So this becomes 10 divided by two, which is five. What about case five? Case five is where we have four diagonals. If we have four diagonals, again, it will be only left, let's say it's this diagonal, one person on each end. And that would be impossible because that's odd. So that's zero. What about case six? Case six is that we have five diagonals. Well, five diagonals, we have five in total, so that's only one possible case. Let's sum them up and we get the answer. Five plus five plus one plus two gives 13, bringing you to answer choice C as your final answer.